Hey, morning, y'all. I got a good workout for you. Going ahead, we're gonna start in about five, four, five minutes or so. See you soon. start in the next couple minutes. We want to start warming up, stretching out. Morning, y'all. How we feeling? My brothers. Good morning, Mike. Good seeing you. We got Mike. Good morning. Hey, how we doing, Sherry? Let's get sweaty. Let's get sweaty. All right. So, uh, my standard counts usually 45 seconds on, 15 second transitions, right around 30 second or less. Uh, switch. So. A uh, little combination of everything we're going to be hitting today. Still going to be a lot of upper body, right? So transitions are going to be leg exercises, 
midway through all the main stations, we're gonna get some ab work in. And at the top and bottom of the rounds, we're gonna get some upper body. So grab some weights. Uh, you're gonna want at least a variety of something pretty heavy. <laughs> Hope to see you soon in the gym. Yeah, Chris, uh, it's, hey, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. Uh, so uh, you're gonna want something fairly heavy uh, for both hands, uh, like the chest press uh, and whatnot, more than Elizabeth. Uh, and then uh, something maybe a little, little bit lighter or something you can handle a little better for like a Russian twist if you want to add some weight to that. So if you got some variety in weight, uh, I'll take you over the demos right now so you can see what you may need. We'll hit up the warm up and then we'll go ahead and get started. So, uh, first one we're going to be doing today on the main station is an overhead press. I should probably stand this camera up just a little bit. Is that still even? There we go. Uh, the overhead press. So we're not going to add a squat to this today. Uh, we're just going to be pressing from those shoulders. So bring your weight to your shoulders, roughly at like a 45 degree angle. I don't want you to start off at the bottom super, super wide. Right? I want those elbows to the front of your body to begin with. And then you're going to squeeze your cheeks, press overhead. And then bring it on down. Your goal here is to keep your body as still as possible. I don't want you to be leaning back or anything like that, right? I want you to stay upright, push, bring down, and go relax, right? So we're just doing that press motion overhead. Going fairly heavy with that if that's if you got some weight. From there, we're gonna have to take this off. From there, we're gonna go into a pike push-up. Pike push-up. So how that's going to work is you're going to, I want you to think like downward dog for this one, for the pike push-up. So you're going to be here, push your chest towards your knees, right here, right? If you find that's really tight and you're kind of just here, go ahead and bend your knees a little bit. See if that's going to allow you to get deeper into that push. And then from that position here, pushing your chest in, I want you to bend from those elbows and push. Think of push up with just your shoulders. So we're going to drop it down. Essentially you're going to try, your goal is to try to either tap your forehead or, or tap your chin Boom. To, the, to the floor to the mat. So all the way down, all the way up. Now if that's too much, if that's, you got any sort of shoulder issues, that position is too much, go ahead and just give me standard push ups, right? Go ahead and just give me standard push ups, toes or knees, doesn't matter. <clears throat> whatever you're working on, but give it a shot. Give it a shot, see how it works, see what kind of range of motion you're working with, see just how close you can get your, your forehead to the ground. Uh, after that, we're gonna hit a couple of ab stations. Number three is the long arm, long leg, Russian twist. So grab something a little bit lighter. Your goal here is you're gonna have your legs straight off the ground, arms long, and you're going to try to twist smooth and controlled. Leaning back, leaning on a big old arching rainbow with the weight, turning from the core, keeping it smooth, consistent, nice and controlled. If you have to keep your heels on the ground for, for balance, you're still working on that, go ahead and keep those legs on the ground, lean back, nice long arms. <coughs> from that to we got a cross body crunch, cross body crunch. What I like to see for that is you're gonna have one leg out, one leg bent. The side that's bent, opposite elbow is bent. You can bring this hand to the ground and this can help you out if you need it or you can just try to keep your hand off the ground and not utilize it in any way. But if you need a little bit of assistance, putting that hand on the, hand on the ground can help you out. So then you're going to come up, across, across, and you're going to try to get your elbow to tap that knee. Or if you want to get really deep into the, the sit up, try to get your shoulder to tap the knee, right? Move your elbow past it, and then back down. So now, up, down, up. For those sit ups, halfway through, I'll call it out. Other knee goes up, other elbow gets bent. We're coming in through some crunches. Remember, round the spine. 
Activate the core twist in, come up at that diagonal. So that's your cross body crunch. Uh, so that's our two out exercises. In the last two stations we had, we're going back to some upper body. We got an overhead tricep extension. Overhead tricep extension. Uh, you can do this with one weight, or you can do it with uh, one heavy weight or with two lighter weights, depending on what you have. If you're using two lighter weights, make sure those weights end on end, squeeze together, right? Holding them like that, overhead, and then try to keep them always touching, right? Turn up the wobble, keep them tight. If you're using one heavier weight, what I like to do is I'm going to get a little closer for y'all. What I like to do is I will wrap my hand and my thumb around the handle, and then I'll wrap my hand around that. And this keeps it pretty tight, right? That's how I like to go about it. We're gonna do this standing. So standing, stand on back. Try to keep those elbows pointed forward. Don't flare the elbows out wider than your shoulders. Elbows forward, and then press them up, all right? Up. Try to disappear that weight. All the way behind your head, and then all the way up to full extension. And then the last station we'll get is narrow floor press. We've done this one once before with me, I think this was a couple weeks ago now. Or it may have just been last week. <laughs> but you're laying down, and your goal is, it's gonna be kind of hard to see me, you're gonna have your weights and you're gonna squeeze them together, right? And even if you have lighter weights, like not your maximum bench press kind of weight, you can still make this pretty difficult by squeezing even harder with those weights, right? So you can kind of dictate the pace, you're gonna, or, or the, the resistance. You're gonna squeeze the weights end on end over your chest, shoulders down, elbows down, Squeeze them, and then you're going to keep them in contact, right? Don't let them get all loosey-goosey. Keep them in contact, and that's when you're going to press over your chest. So grab these bad boys. Squeeze them. Don't let them come loose. And push them together. The harder you squeeze them together, the better it's going to be. Standard bench press cues apply here as usual. Don't push over your face. Right, push over your chest, keep in contact, exhale that way up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, those are the main stations. First transition exercise we're going to do is a squat variation. So, I'm going to do squat jumps. If you don't want to jump for whatever reason, you can do like touchdown squats, or you can just do regular squats. Uh, whatever's going to keep your knees safe, but obviously, it's a transition exercise. I want that heart rate up there, I want you to get it nice and sweaty. And then, for the second round, I don't know, let me play this. We'll do monkey hops, my variation of monkey hops. I know there's a lot of different variations of monkey hops out there. For me, I like to have your knees bent, all right? Strong athletic stance, like you're ready to move. And then you're gonna click those heels as far as you can, as high as you can, touch your opposite toe, jump, click, touch, click, touch. I want you to get as much lateral momentum as you can. So get low and spring up and out. So, and that'll be our second transition exercise. So, let me grab a quick sip of water. Grab whatever weights you think you're gonna need. And we'll get started with the warm up and see if there's any questions. Morning, morning. You know, let's go, Mira, let's go for the good Sunday photo. All right. Let's go ahead and start with that. Warm up. All right. Let's start off with some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Moving pretty quick here. Keep in mind, the idea is to raise your internal body temperature. I want you, by the end of the warm up, to have just a touch of sweat on your brow. Be just a little bit out of breath. High knees. So make sure you're moving nice and quick.
Let's reach that to some butt kicks. Heels all the way to your glutes. Not halfway, down here. All the way up to your booty. And touch down, so jump out, tap. If you don't want to do the jumps, just go ahead and do some squats. Try to get low enough to touch the ground. Up. Make sure you're switching hands or going both hands, but keep that posture, keep your chest up. And lunges. Make sure you're dipping straight down in that lunge, not forward, not leaning forward. Switch your body weight straight down. And from here, let's go ahead and just get two walkout push ups. So touch your toes, walk it out. Push up from your toes or knees, walk it back. Stand up, do it again. Let's run through that warm up. One more time, a little bit faster. Starting with jumping jacks. Go! Into high knees. A little higher, a little faster. Remember, we want to get a little sweat. Breathe in a little heavy. And let's go ahead. Two more of those walkout push-ups. All right. Quick sip of water, and we'll get started. Any comments? All right. Cool. Remember, we're looking to not have our bodies wobble side to side. 
We're now leaning back. Elbows are forward to the front of our body as we press straight up, up over those shoulders. Squeeze your glutes. Stay strong through your whole body. Up fast, down slow. Three, two, one. Squat jump. So, chest to your knees. If you gotta have your knees bent, that's fine. Try to have them straight. If you're still just working on classic push up, keep giving me classic push up. Try to get your forehead or your chin all the way to the ground, pushing from your shoulders. Three, two, one. Squat jump. Make sure the abs are going to lift. Switch sides. If you need to keep one hand on the ground to help out from that lift, push down with the hand with the elbow, that's fine. Give me what you got. 10 seconds.
We're on to overhead tricep extension. So grab your weight. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift up. Same deal here. No leaning back, elbows forward. Try to keep them within shoulder width. All the way behind you, all the way above you. If you're working with two lighter dumbbells, it's all the same. Ten seconds. Squeeze your body, squeeze your glutes. Two, one. Squatch up. Keep those weights squeezed together. Over the chest, not the face. Up fast, down steady. Push from your chest. Last little bit. Three, two, one, ah. Squat jumps. Last one, get high, get higher. Three, two, one. There we go, y'all, nice job. Fist bumps, pachow.
Last 10 seconds, last 10 seconds. 30, 2, 1, ha. Look out. Three, two, one. Look it up. Fast moving. Get higher, get further. Two, one. And so for that, run the abs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cross on crunch. Coming at that diagonal. Use the abs to lift up. Round up. Two sides. Last 10 seconds. Keep giving me something, y'all. Keep giving me something. Three, two, one. Monkey hops.
Do great, y'all. Come on. Overhead, tricep extensions. Here we go. And your marks. Get set. Grab your weight. Lift it. We heard a push this morning, y'all. Let's move with some purpose. Ha. 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 Oh. Triceps. Bernie. Let's go. Oh, Ten seconds. Two, one, time. Look out. Hey, sir, not away. I don't hold back just because I'm on camera. I know I don't look pretty. I know I don't look pretty. Whew. I'm getting my workout in too, y'all. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. stations 45 seconds on only difference is we're going to try to move through those uh those rest periods a little faster so try to have your weights organized i, I know i'm pretty bad at that because the goal is we're going to try to shorten down that 30 second rest to about 15 ish you know best we can and uh yeah so one more time through let's do it Starting with the overhead press.
If you guys ever have questions or anything, or how to, if you guys have any issues or, or want uh, ideas on how to change anything, let me know, either after the class or during, and I'll, I'll get to your comment. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Last time here, we all started with overhead press. Starting off in three, two, one, let's go. Don't leave back. Three, two, one. Ah. Pipe push. Three, two, one. Pipe push up. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Boy, what's next? What's next? Long arm, long leg, push and twist. These are our last times through. We all making your best ones. Three, two. One, let's go. to it in advance. Try not to let this arm be thrown as a weight. We're going to go a full minute on this one. We're going to go a full minute on some abs. Two, one, switch sides, that was 30 seconds. Come across to the diagonal.
Mind Studios for personal training will be opening up soon. So if you are interested in some personal training, get a hold of whatever coach nearest you that you would like to work out with, come join us in the studios. We will be maintaining a bit of an online presence even as we open up. So we'll still be putting these out for anyone not comfortable or ready to come back into the studios. Uh, please go ahead and answer those surveys if you haven't already, either via email or on the uh, community page. So, uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm going to stretch out a little bit here now. If you're hanging out with me, you're more than welcome to. If you got to go, I appreciate you for coming. So, If we look down, we have a tendency to round the shoulders and round the spine. So I want you to look up. It's a common thing, even in like a, a plank, when people are looking back down at their feet, what you're gonna do instinctively, whenever you're looking down, is your hips are gonna wanna lift up. All right, it's all connected. Head goes down, butt comes up. Hips wanna to get to lift up, so they wanna round that spine. Don't let it. We're going to get into a 90-90 position. Oh, you guys probably can't really see me. Let me scoot back. There we go. 90-90 position here, or a full-on pigeon, yoga position pigeon, if you know what that is. Oh. And just lean over that front leg. Take that front leg, straighten it out. Back leg stays bent. If you're in the pigeon, 
you have to bring this up to bend it. If your left leg is out, your left elbow is down, and vice versa. You're stretching out this back quad, this one that's bent back. A couple of ways you can manipulate this if you're not quite feeling it. You can start on the hip, try to make sure your knee is on the ground, then bring your hips forward and back. Second way, your heel, bring this closer or further to your glute. Then third way, actually, lean further back. Alright, we're going to switch that 90 90 or pigeon over to the other side. Lean over that front leg. Front leg goes out, back leg stays bent. Go down to the same side, elbow. Yeah. As the foot back goes out. From there, split stretch. Oh yeah. As far as we can go, man, the other day I was like really freaking far. Let's see if I can get there again. Nah, not quite. What was that? Monday, when we did that leg day, I was so loose and warmed up, it was cool. Woo! Not too bad for a Sunday. Not too bad. Nice little weightlift. We do that same deal, feet together. One foot over the top of the opposite knee. Give it a hug, twist to the outside. So if your right knee is bent, you should be facing right. Switch that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for coming by, y'all. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you next time.